Do Blackpool Pleasure Beach need a third hotel? That is the question that has been asked on social media for probably the last week or so. And the reason for that question is, is because there is a third hotel in the works at the Pleasure Beach, confirmed by Amanda Thompson, OBE. So talk of a new hotel at the Pleasure Beach is actually not new news. It's not a new rumour and it's not something that's come out of the blue. This has actually been an ongoing rumour now, probably for the best part of five years, since the Boulevard Hotel opened at the Pleasure Beach in summer 2019. Almost as soon as that hotel opened at the Pleasure Beach, there was talk of a third hotel going on the car park by the casino building in place of the Globe Theatre. Now, Pleasure Beach do still use the Globe Theatre. Sometimes they hire it out to shows that are coming along to Blackpool. It is a good show venue. It's something that Pleasure Beach used to use for things like Eclipse and Forbidden. It is an old theatre, but it is still a very useful one. They still use it for their season launches and other things as well. So it's not like it's a, a building that's not being used. With all that said, if the third hotel does go ahead, which I think it will do, I think it's inevitable, I do think the Globe Theatre will make way for this hotel. However, I don't think this will leave Pleasure Beach short of a stage or somewhere that they can put on shows, functions, or something of the like which goes on in the Globe currently. I actually think they'll incorporate this into the brand new hotel, make it modern, give it more seating, and make it more appealing for external shows to come and use that stage and put on their own show in a modern building. So back to the subject of, do the Pleasure Beach need a third hotel? Well, they've already got two very nice hotels, luxurious hotels. They've got the Big Blue, which has been there since 2003, was extended in 2006, I believe. And then you've got the Boulevard Hotel, which opened in 2019. These hotels bring in a lot of money for the Blackpool Pleasure Beach Company. They bring in a good revenue stream, they are profitable, and if you've ever watched The Hotel Inspector, you will have probably heard Alex Polizzi say many a time, profit is in hotel rooms. And that is exactly why Pleasure Beach are likely to capitalise on this by having another hotel. Blackpool has a lot of hotels, but Blackpool has a lot of bad hotels. It doesn't have a lot of high quality hotels. That is not to disrespect anyone, but me personally, now as an adult in my mid thirties, I would rather stay in somewhere like the Big Blue, like the Boulevard, like the Travelodge, like a Premier Inn, where I'm guaranteed comfort, Wi-Fi facilities, modern facilities, and just not an old fashioned hotel. Now, of course, like I say, the Big Blue opened in the early 2000s, but it still feels very modern compared to a traditional Blackpool B&B. And this is why I hope that if they do, or when they do build this third hotel, I hope they don't go down the luxurious route of the Big Blue and Boulevard. I hope they go more in between like a travel lodge and the Big Blue. Make it luxurious, but not too luxurious to the point where you're charging 150, 200 pound a night. I think it'd be great for them as a business if they could basically put a hotel right in front of the travel lodge, compete with the travel lodge prices, but offer a much nicer hotel with modern facilities, good Wi-Fi, and a good comfortable hotel right next to the park entrance or something that may well become the park entrance over time. Now, as much as I see the merit for a third hotel and I see the reasoning for it and why they really want to go for it, I hope that this doesn't come at the expense of reinvestment into the amusement park. The amusement park really, really needs some investment. It needs new rides, it needs refurb rides, it needs new paint jobs, it needs capacity improving on the rides. I feel like so much investment needs to go into the park before a third hotel. Now, of course, I do understand that a business has different budgets for everything else. The hotels will have a budget, the shows will have a budget, the amusement park will have a budget, but I think that regardless of whether they do or they don't need a third hotel, if they were to put in a third hotel before they replace the Grand Prix, before they replace the Wild Mouse, before they fix the River Caves, before they fix Ice Blast, and so on, I do think that it will just bring on more criticism of the running of the park. Now, if they were to do it the same way that they did Icon and the Boulevard Hotel, then I don't think you'd see many complaints online because a brand new roller coaster replacing the Grand Prix, 
a new hotel the year after, I think most people would be happy with that. I honestly do believe that the amusement park side of their business can make as much money as the hotel side of the business. Now I believe that because the Pleasure Beach has proven it can do it in the past. You only have to watch the Pleasure Beach documentary for the 90s to see how much money they were making in a day. Now they're probably not gonna make those amounts of money in a day anymore because they don't have a paper ride system and the world has changed. People don't flock to Blackpool now like they used to do then. However, I do believe with a few tweaks, the amusement park side of the business can be up there earning as much money as the hotel side of the business. However, to do that, I do believe the amusement park does need investment. I believe they need a new roller coaster, which will hopefully come to replace the Grand Prix. I think they need to replace Trauma Towers and the Wild Mouse, as promised six years ago. I think they need to look at the throughputs. I'm not saying that the staff are doing a bad job. As mentioned in the vlog the other day from the Pleasure Beach, they can only deal with basically what they've got. The system in place doesn't help them. The scanning onto rides, for example, slows things down. And just little things like that can improve the guest experience if the throughputs are better, the queues aren't as long. Just little things like that will help reviews and help word of mouth and help more people come to the Pleasure Beach. But in terms of reinvestment, when you look at the north side of the park where the hotel will go, currently you've got a closed ride at the park entrance, then you've got a closed ride inside the park entrance in Ice Blast. Of course, River Caves is closed, the sculpture gardens where a ride used to be, you've got an empty space where Trauma Towers used to be, an empty space where the Wild Mouse used to be. The Grand National no longer runs at its full capacity. It's only on two trains most of the time instead of four. Valhalla doesn't have as many boats as it used to have on, so the queue takes longer. So that area of the park is in desperate need of redevelopment. It probably needs some new rides, maybe a new roller coaster, improvement on the throughputs. All this at the same time as a new hotel being built might be a lot to ask but it's all things that customers and fans of the park are gonna talk about if this third hotel does end up going through. So to wrap this up, do the Pleasure Beach need a third hotel? Well, yes and no. Yes, if the hotels are making a lot of money and they're keeping the business going and giving them chance to reinvest into everything that they wanna reinvest into, then yes, they probably do need a third revenue stream of hotel money. But I'm also going to say no, because I would like to see the Pleasure Beach reinvest into the amusement park before they invest into another hotel. So for me at this point, it really is a yes and no answer. So this is where I'm gonna hand it over to everyone else and ask, what do you think? Do the Pleasure Beach need a third hotel or do they need to invest in the park first? What would you like to see them do? Can they do both? Can they do one or the other? I'd be interested to read everyone's comments in the comments section below. So that's all from me today. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.